Right, well, looks like Slumberger are pulling out. They've obviously done all their diagnostics, because that is a diagnostics wagon. Um, I don't know if you can see what it says on the side there. Neither can I from here, but Chris Power, who was here with me last night, um, filled me in on what this little beastie does. And out the back of that wagon was a big cable that ran down all the way down the well. And we assume there were things like cameras on there. Um, but as you can see, the Slumberger is about to leave the building, the Ian R. Crane Pimp Mobile. Ian, your buddies are going home. So that's them gone. You can see the tankers over in the background. Stink of gas is now extremely heavy again in the air. Back to back to work as usual until um, HSE get on this. I'm actually going to email the entire board with uh, my thing. If you look on my wall, you'll find the email address for Judith Hackett, who is the chair of the board. And uh, underneath is a, na a list of names that are all the board members. And I think it is imperative that those of you that want to make a stand against this kind of slipshod cowboy onshore drilling bullshit should be emailing the copy of that video. It's very simple, it's very short, and it will fit on an email because I've sent it. It's very important that that email is sent dozens and dozens and dozens of times so they cannot say they're not aware of the health and safety breaches here. Um, it's it's that, that that's a sight shutter. I'm sorry, but you know I've seen I've seen stuff where cranes have fallen over through um, uh, poor health and safety on site and poor uh, safety management, and that twat rigger climbing around the outside of it um, is a clear breach of a serious breach of health and safety, and needs to be um, needs to be addressed by the health and safety executive, and answers need to um, be had. You know, um, it's it's just unacceptable that the, that everything is being ignored. The Environment Agency, you know, have got their thumbs up their asses. They're not out here at the moment uh, with this huge stink. They're not out here, and they should be. Um, so I think, you know, as many of you emailing judith.hackett at hse.gov.uk and with that email, uh, with that video, and say, what are you going to do about this? This is this is a blatant breach of your own health and safety regulations. So anyway, say ta da to Slumberger. Uh, Cordrilla are still on site. Um, I haven't seen them leave yet, but um, they will be, uh, I, I would assume, because obviously Raflin have had to pay a competitor to um, to to uh, come in and. F look at a problem now i think the problem's the same as what they had in lancashire um, we did have the unexpected high pressure here and um oh hang on a, a slumberger not leaving or are they just parking in the car park where they're supposed to i do believe they're just parking in the car park uh, stand down hold on maybe they've been told because uh, all vehicles that are uh, come into this site are supposed to uh, park in the car park so it certainly does look like they've finished their job but they're they're now just parking in the car park maybe that's because the tankers are in the way. I don't